Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I, what I was also going to decide that I'm going to hold back on doing the Adamant Quest for now. Mostly due to the fact that I want to um, save getting the trophy for that one for the Nexus playthrough, where I'll be getting all the trophies for. As well as a few other reasons involving NS personality. So, yeah. Sorry guys. But, to make up for that, we're going to be slaughtering dragons. A lot of dragons. A gratuitous, bloody bath amount. Pretty much. And do a few other quests here and there. So, yay. Alright, Cassandra, you got something for us, though. I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. You recall the demon at Serenfall, the one impersonating Lord Seeker Lucius? We never found the real Lord Seeker, or his body. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corythius has imprisoned them. Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily, but yes. They may be dead. Yet a demon of envy does not kill whomever it replaces. It hides them away and learns about them. There must be a trail we can follow. Yet so far I have only discovered hints. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corythius gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, You'd have to force delirium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. Of course. So yeah, we're going to be doing, uh, the remainder of this set is going to be, uh, companion quests that are available currently, and, um, dragon hunting. So, fun shit. <laughs> I forgot to associate. Uh, to set this out. Fuck. Damn, I have a lot of stuff in forces. Hmm. I'll set that for later because I do need it for something. That. Where is... There it is. That's going to take a while. Luckily, uh, we have a lot to do. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to... Um, Blackwall and Iron Bull. They both have quests for us. Everyone else should be fine, if I'm remembering correctly. I ran around and talked to a lot of people before doing this. Oh yeah, Sarah has a quest for us as well. So we'll do Sarah's quest as well. Get that done out of the way. Then our bull and Blackwall. Blackwall has a quest for us. Now let's find out. <clears throat> Buddy. This. This is just... It's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. I'm pleased that you feel that way. Makes me sound like a Chantry sister, doesn't it? Some giddy new initiate. But so be it. I suppose you've earned my loyalty and girlish enthusiasm. You are who you choose to follow. 
Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. There's wisdom in that. It was a Chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I ever thanked him. That was generous of him. He said I stood to gain everything, while he'd lose nothing. When it was over, he offered to mentor me, to teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. I should have gone with him. Perhaps things could have been different. Different doesn't always mean better. <laughs> In this case, I think it would have been better. But I'm older, hopefully wiser. And I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. Heard you found something that had to do with wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. I've been meaning to thank you. There are a hundred things that need your attention. You didn't have to take the time to help me. And yet you did. If the history you pursue benefits the Wardens, then it was worth it. You've proven yourself to be an honorable woman. Principled. I've great admiration for you. And I've never been more certain in my decision to join you. There will be opportunities for us to do even more in the future. Then I look forward to it. Nothing right now. Demon who wears someone's face. I imagine it makes trusting others risky. Without trust, how would we build alliances or friendships? It's easy to speak well of trust when yours has never been misplaced. Nothing. We need to head to Adamant Fortress as soon as possible. If there's a chance we can stop Corypheus from destroying the Wardens, we can't let it slip away. Nothing right now. Alright, I guess I'll come back to him and talk to him later. But for the most part, we're done with that. Alright, let's go talk to Iron Bull to get his quest started. Then talk to Sarah, who uh, will take us straight to where we need to go. And then we'll just fast travel with it from there to the Iron Bull's uh, one. No, 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 we'll come back here afterwards, right? Okay. Either way. Okay, Alright, let's do a quick save. Here we go. Sarah! Still waiting to go get that reward for marching through the shell. Got something against free money? I'm ready if you are. Always, yeah. My favorite part, this. Let's go see what friends can get us. This is part of a uh, quest I had started with her, obviously. Uh, yeah. Okay. Basically, talk to her enough, and eventually she'll ask you if you can send people walking through a town. And this is the result. Yay! Let's see how it goes. The fuck? My phone apparently turned off a while ago. No wonder I didn't hear my fucking alarm. <sighs> oh well. I had no class today, so it's not that important. Wait, this is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Quiet yourself. We're here to help. Help? Had enough help. I complain about a fight and suddenly I'm an agent or something. You were the one with the rumor out of the shell. My friend. You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. 
Red Jenny! I seriously think that Sarah actually is the Red Jenny. Or at least, uh, the current Red Jenny. I'm assuming it's, uh, uh what was it? Like the Dread Pro Pirate Roberts from Princess Bride. It's just a tile that's passed down, and she's the current Red Jenny. Huh. Let's all sheathe our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this like business. So believe this piss bag. He started it. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmon. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason. After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. You want to talk now, but Sarah is my ally. You attacked her friends. Come now. You know how much her meddling cost me. Because apparently you were complicit. Honestly, previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these... Red Jennies. Despite your foreign nature, as Inquisitor, you are a social peer. I attack them on behalf of us both. Ass biscuits. <sighs> Quiet. Inquisitor, Herald, I don't want to be your enemy. I'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. The servants you killed, they did nothing except talk about what was going on. You killed my contacts. My friends. That is entirely true. Well, that should be that then. You're the one who empowered them, made their complaints a threat. Perhaps you should have warned them about talking to you. Stop talking to him. Really, just stop it. Uh, now, what was the point of that? Mother, post bucket, friggin' bastard, shite bag, piss face. You think you lop here, son of an arsenal, rock Sarah, up, piece of. Sarah. Uh, what? He's done. You're done. Relax. It's over, I said. Friends, Inquisitor. Better than his lot any day. I have to say, that knife scene is probably my favorite scene in any game, any movie, whatever. Because that's what would happen if someone just threw a knife at someone. It'd probably bounce off. Even if you train, there's still a chance they'd do that. And I love the fact that they showed it. When I first saw that, I nearly fell to the floor laughing. <laughs> Especially when Sarah started kicking the shite out of him. I uh, love it. Sarah's awesome. <laughs> hey, you. Know what? Thanks. Felt good to stop the smile off that pisshead's face. It doesn't go bad like that often, yeah? But when it does, they deserve it. It was very nearly a disaster. Never again. Well, sure, you deal with shite, like... I don't want to hear it. I'm needing too many people to put up with this. Pissing me right off, Inquisitor. If we keep up like this, it's... Well, it's not good, right? I need all the help I can get, but consider this a warning. Well, understood. Hop to and all that. If you need me, I'll be waiting for some barking ass to give me orders. 
so hard to get. Stupid. Everyone. That was actually a mistake. I didn't mean to click that. Luckily, I saw that all say right there. Gotta hit my uh, controller acts up a little bit. Not of my thumb just slipped. Probably my thumb slipped, but not. This controller's new, so. Mm. Let's see here. Ah. Alright. Sorry, um. I'll probably edit this part out if I remember to. If not, I'll keep acting like I uh, didn't. I'll just type down the uh, the code so I remember wh remember when I need to edit this. Come on. You go. Oh, hold on. I was not aware the Inquisitor was personally involved. I wonder. This is a tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheath our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this life. Don't believe it's his back. He started. Nope. There. Freaky. Let's get through all this. I, well, that is overstating it, you are. If you are willing to recognize an op- Hey you. Know what? Thanks. Felt good to stop the smile off that pisshead's face. It doesn't go bad like that often, yeah? But when it does, they deserve it. Don't get full of yourself. This is as much your fault as his. Sorry, what are you on about? Because that excuse for a person was a fully vetted asshole. You sure as piss not putting me next to him? I'm more concerned that your friends didn't know what they were getting into. You risked their lives for this scheme. Don't turn this around. Yes, they got hurt for talking, but what were they supposed to do? They were already being hurt. And who made it necessary to speak up? That noble asshole, that's who. And that was just the one we flushed out. You'd rather do nothing than try to make this better. You know what? Never mind. I'm letting it go, I don't want to fight. Well, how generous. Thanks, I guess. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that. Accepting thing you're doing right there. We'll have some differences, but I want to be one of your friends. You're pretty big to be one of my contacts. Important, I mean, not fat. But all right, Inquisitor. You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. Now that's more realistic. Alright, now that's said and done. Um, I'm going to try and edit that out. Um, I made a mistake. Um, if I didn't edit it out, I'm just mentioning this right now, I made a mistake. My uh, finger slipped when, when clicking an option, and it was a lot more hostile than it should have been. So I was able to fix it, and yeah, it was more suiting. So, Bull, you have a quest for us. Come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. 
You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasra. Already verified it with red. What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Canari and the Inquisition joining forces. That would be an unprecedented offer if I believed it was legitimate. Which I don't. Now, ordinarily, that would be the way to go. But they've identified themselves. They're not running a game on you. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big warships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. I thought the Kunara wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kuhn answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. All right, let's go do that. And after that, we should be uh, set for a while. At least on the storyline bits I want. Alrighty. Let's mark this as my active quest. Pretty much once we go here in any... Uh, no matter where we go, so long as Iron Bull's in our party during this quest, we'll start the quest instantly. So keep that in mind. Fuck, does he have anything equipped to him properly? <laughs> Shit. I haven't really uh, been keeping up with my party like I should be. The only party that's actually fully outfitted with their own uh, unique gear and special shite is Nexus's party. So, <laughs> eh. I think he at least has some gear. I'm worried. Oh, well, I'm, I have a uh, Cole and Solus. They they can make up the slack. All right, our Kunari contact should be here to meet us. He is. Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Iron Bull's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinter is dangerous enough without the influence of this Venatori cult. If this new form of Lyrium helps them seize power in Tevinter, the war with Kunandar could get worse. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose Sahara, and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view, and out of range of any Venatory mages on shore. 
We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a Dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Grim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. Okay, so I did make armor for him. As you can see, he has the, um... What's it called? Hado's Razor. What's up, guys? Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start. But don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's alright. They've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage! Getting close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just pay attention, all right? The Vince want this Red Lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, Chief. All right, Chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. I'm ready to head out, Bo. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move. All right, let's get to it. Really got to give him some uh, XP. XP. Oh, shite, do I ever. Gave your Chargers the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship. It's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then. Just like there we old go. times. <laughs> so I say this every time I see him. Don't let them warn the others. But Gat reminds me a lot of Johnny Gat from uh uh Saints Row. I know it's a game that you all probably don't think I play, but I've played uh Saints Row the third and fourth. So it's just his hairstyle, the name, and somewhere of his personality actually kind of reminds me of Gat. Not from here. Probably a better view once we take the big scamp. Worry? Yeah, by me. I've been with some of them for years. So yeah, it's, it's just a little uh, weird. All he needs is the uh, the glasses, really. Is he rogue too? He is. No? I don't see any tattoos, but you're carrying a staff. Are you from a Chantry Circle? No, and I would prefer not to discuss it. Have I done something to offend you? You joined the Kune? After they rescued me from slavery. And put you into something worse. A slave may always struggle for freedom, but you among the Kune have been taught not to think. Solace, not the time. <laughs> I really do think that Solace and, um... The Iron Bull actually become friends later on. Since I don't have them in my party uh, together, I'll mention this. I've listened to uh, all of the party banter everyone has. I uh, actually listened to it in a constant stream while level grinding once. Five hours almost, I believe. Anyway, Solus and uh, the Iron Bull actually have a mental chess game together. It's fantastically amazing. Alright. Boom. Yeah, it's an actual chess game, too. People have actually translated it into a, uh... Um... <laughs> sorry. An online board game. And found and actually watched them play the game. I, I've seen it. It's really cool. Loot. 
The uh, dread we got from that last chest is actually a unique helmet for the Iron Bowl. And it looks awesome. 